I'm going to show you how to import the 20 fathom and 50 fathom boundary line for 2024 rockfish regulation. 20 fathom boundary line consists of 239 waypoints along the coast of California. And we developed this uh, for mainly kayak anglers. We only captured the waypoints along the California, not along the any of the islands throughout the California offshore islands. There are many changes to 2024 ground fish or rockfish regulations in California. One of the major changes is 20 fathom boundary line that CDFW established, and which sometimes we refer to that as a near shore fishing season. And the CDFW published the CSV file, which is uh, you can download from this website. And once you download the CSV file, looks like this. Which is one way you can see is the Excel spreadsheet, but you cannot import this directly into your fish finder. Which I'm going to try to show you how to able to import into your fish finder. And one of our friends from the North Cal kayak angler L develop uh, made a conversion both for the GPS file, GPX file for the fish finders and also for Navionics GPS file because Navionics use some unique uh, features on the GPS X file that's why you cannot import a normal file into it and if you go to this website it uh, non moralized vessel petition 20 fathom GPS download the page go down here and once you download it you can see, you should able to find able to see this uh, GPS file on your fish finder and it's not just related to the depth they made a bunch of waypoint and those uh, CDFW made a connection to those waypoints to be able to determine where you are allowed to fish, you need to know those waypoints. You cannot say, oh, I'm less than 120 feet of water. That does not work. That's a, uh, both the CDFW game warden, all the game warden be carrying this information. they able to enforce the regulation. That's the reason we got a bunch of waypoints. It's about more than 200 waypoints for each line. And one way to verify, make sure you got the, all the points are uh, once you import it, check how many waypoints you got on this trail. And you can download the uh, GPS file by clicking here, then you'll see it's downloading. And I would recommend downloading all four files and save those information into your, into a, micro SD card or SD card depend on the reader you have on your fish finder. I know not all fish finders so equip it with the SD card reader and you some of more advanced model can do by the wireless connection but I'm I won't have a time to get into those. That's why if you do some research on the YouTube or Google you might be able to find some information. And I got uh, some uh, general instruction. I'm going to show you exactly, but uh, general instruction, download GPS file and upload that into your micro SD or SD card, turn off to your fish finder and insert micro SD card. It's always good practice to turn off your electronic device when you insert the SD card and turn on the fish finder and open the folder file folder or file from your fish finder menu and every fish finder is different which I'm, I will show you just one fish finder model one I use is the Lawrence Elite TI and you can go into the import file once you import file you can change the name of that trail or color or line type and make sure you choose a display option to that way it will show on your fish finder like this. I inserted the 8GB uh, 
SD card, micro SD card into my fish finder. I recommend using small uh, micro SD card because there's some restrictions. Some fish finder cannot read anything greater than a 16 gigabyte uh, micro SD card. So do not use just huge one, then you might have run into problem. And I'm going to turn on my fish finder. It's a Lawrence Elite Ti. I'm going to show you my existing trails. If you go to trail command here, I already got 20 fathom and 50 fathom lines saved. Uh, 20 fathom lines is 239 points, 50 fathom is 200 points. And what I'm going to do is import another one, 20 fathom line, but it's going to be saved under a different name. And I'm going to go to my menu. Every fish finder has a different menu, different names. Under here, menu, I got what I call uh, command is files. If I go click, it's going to show my memory card. I'm going to click on the memory card. From uh, You can click on the 20 fathom or 50 fathom. And some fish finders had the difficulty opening 20 fathom RCA line. That's why you might want to do 20 fathom. Naviani file, see whether you have a success with the importing that one. That's the reason I recommend downloading all four files and try to see it. I'm going to import the 20 fathom line. Click on 20 fathom and import. Yes, it doesn't take much time. I'm done with the importing. Import complete, close, close. Uh, Let's go back to the trails. It should show another one. 20 fat um, RCA. That's the file name it will show. If I choose that one, it, it go, I got the display on. That's why you want to make sure you have the display on. That way, whenever you're using Fish Finder, it will show that 20 fathom line. And you can change the name or change the line type or line color so i'm going to do that i'm going to click on show yeah once i select the display it's going to show the 20 fathom line this purple one is a 20 fathom line then i'm going to sh show you some other locations so you can see I got 50 fathom line in the green color and the 20 fathom line on the pink color. So you can see both both lines and whenever it's a new show we have to do short side of 20 fathom line. Whenever we have to do deep water 50 fathom then we have to go outside ocean side of 50 fathom line. So it will help the very helpful to have this information in your fish find that way when you're fishing sometimes the 20 fathom line doesn't give you a lot of room that you make sure you are staying within the shore side of a 20 fathom line to comply with the 2024 fishing regulation enjoy fishing and if you have any comments let me know and be safe out